How to connect your network via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. First, I want you to find the menu button right here for your HDVR 3500 or 2500 model GeoSat receiver. Press the menu button once, and we want to press the blue button on the remote control right there one time, because that's how we get to the settings. Press the settings button once, and last function that we did was the factory reset. Now we're going to go down to the network, way down on the bottom of the list. As you can see, I highlighted that now. Over here, as you can see, there's no network connectivity. So we want to connect to your Wi-Fi by pressing the OK button. Now you have the uh, network bars highlighted. Press the OK button one time. And I'm going to select Wi-Fi because that's how I want to connect to my network and I press OK. When that happens it'll look for the Wi-Fi connections near you and in this case I want to connect to Ideal Satellite Services by pressing the OK button one time the keypad comes up. Notice that the yellow button will activate your shift uh, lever I mean your shift uh, keys so now they're all high uh, uppercase and if I press the yellow button again they're lowercase by pressing the uppercase you'll notice there's symbols right up here that you probably will need so now I'm gonna proceed to enter my uh, passcode on here now also if you make a boo-boo there's a red button will delete your mistake so let's show you how to do that uh, you can press numbers or letters by just going to the number or the letters. Notice it's like a telephone keypad. So you select the numbers here or you can scroll up or down. Notice that by pressing the button right here, I'm going to see if I can do this. If I press the right button, the highlighted cursor moves. If I press down, it goes down. So what I want you to do is select your letters and your numbers and your symbols and enter that in your keypad here. You'll see a symbol. I'm going to enter any number here so you can see. If I press the 8, there is an 8. If I press an F, which is highlighting now, I press an F. If I want a T, then I press a, a T by going to the T. There it is. Press OK. If I want a lowercase letter, then if I go here to sh yellow button and then I go to the letter J and there you go. So you continue to do that until you fill the entire pass key. As soon as I press the green key, I went to enter and they connected really fast. So now that I'm connected to my network, Ideal Satellite Services in this case, I'm going to press the exit button right there once, twice. Oh, and by the way, Notice that there is network information all, all the way up here on the side. So I exit out of there and then exit again. And then now we're going to want to check. You can toggle between, see it now it says network is connected. Now you can toggle between IPTV channels and your regular satellite channels. First of all, here I can press the OK button and I can see all my satellite channels. I can scroll up and down and select any channel that I want to watch. For example, I want to watch Amazing Facts. I select that and I'll jump right to Amazing Facts. If I want to watch my internet channels, which some of them are available there on the internet in case you don't have satellite service, you can use internet. You can go to IPTV channels once you're connected to your network and press the button one time. There you will see that you have a list of channels over here on the side and they will connect via the internet to uh, the specific channel you select. Let's select, uh, let's select LLBN. It'll take a few seconds to connect on the internet and there you are. To select another channel I can go to say 3ABN, hit OK and it'll connect via the internet to 3ABN. There you are. Now to be able to go back to the satellite channels by pressing the exit button once 
it takes you right back to your satellite channels.